Oh, well, everybody's heard about the bird. The bird, bird, bird. The bird's a winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. The bird is a winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. Well, the bird is a winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. The bird's a winner. Delta Sigma Theta, I see you. See, see if I can take a little bit longer way home. Make the vlog a little bit longer. Ooh, he's hitting his brakes. It's too cold for this. I shouldn't be coming into this curve like this. Such cold weather. You saw it up. Oh man, so people have been watching my vlogs. I'm going to try not to curse as much. I know I'm bad at cursing, but I'm going to try to do a little bit better. Just in case, you know, they're kids or whatever that watch the vlog. I only have like 10 subscribers right now, but still, I don't know. One of those 10, maybe a 10-year-old. So I got to scale back on the F-bomb. But that's just me, though. So every now and then, you're going to get it. Cause that's just me being wrong. I don't really like to censor myself or anybody. I don't really do well with direction. I like to do my own thing. Oh man, so let's see if this quality and this audio comes out a lot better. I'm not really trying to scream, so I'm, I'm pretty much talking normal even though I can barely hear myself over the bike. I don't know if the pipes sound loud or anything like that to you guys, but they are pretty loud to me, especially when I get over 6,000 RPM. I'm glad this Honda decided to go. So basically this vlog has just been pretty much a bunch of randomness. But we're going to accomplish a few things with this randomness, I'm going to get to test out the audio quality better, and I readjusted the settings on the Go um, the GoPro, <laughs> on the JVC Addiction Action Cam, so let's see if this imagery comes out a lot better, and they were looking at me, I think they wanted my head off with his head, it's a black guy riding a motorcycle in Kennesaw, that can't be right. <laughs> I wonder if I should I should go visit my friend see what he up to man try to motivate him man he needs some motivation you, know, it's just, you got some people in your life that that are just so content and you try your best to motivate them all the time but nothing really ever changes but you keep trying to motivate them I think that's what a good friend does oh my gosh guys you're on camera and I, I know you know what I really want to do and I really 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 want to do it because they are really going slow and I'm not going to I'm going to be good. I'm going to be a good little boy. Plus, it gives me longer to talk to you, so. Leave me some ideas in the comment section of what you'd rather have me talk about. Like, even though we're on a motorcycle and we're motor vlogging, I don't want to sit on here and talk about motorcycles 24-7. Like I said at the beginning of the vlog, I want to talk about real-life issues. Like, I want to talk about the terrorist attacks going on in Paris. I want to talk about the way that the police are mismanaging the situation of police brutality and not necessarily saying that it's a racial thing because I'm African American but I don't disagree with everything the police do that's by no means but a lot of the things that they have done recently I have to say I disagree with and if it were the other way around even if the victims were white I mean, the way that they did what they did, I would still have a problem with it. I don't think the race of the victims matters, not to me. I know everybody's going around and they have the movement going on of Black Lives Matter and 
mean, yeah, black lives do matter, but all lives matter. I mean, I don't think anybody should lose their life over a c- officer who is supposed to be here to protect you being scared. Now, in some instances, people deserve it. Like, I saw a video the other day, and there was a black guy, and he was at a church, and the pastor called the police, and they were saying that he was there threatening one of the members. It was a wedding, I believe, and he had a gun, and he was threatening to kill them. And when the police showed up, the police showed up with caution, and he was like, you know, calm down. Do you have any weapons on you, anything like that? And the guy takes off running. And once the guy takes off running, he he gets away from the officer initially, which, you know, that's fine. He gets away from the officer initially. Then he drops his weapon. And instead of continuing to run, he turns around and tries to secure his weapon. Like, I don't think that he had the intention on aiming at the cop or trying to shoot the cop or whatever like that. But in that instance, the minute you turn around and go pick up the weapon, that officer doesn't know. Now, I completely understand that. That was silly. I mean, once he got to the point where he got away from the officer, once he dropped his weapon, he should have just kept running and let let the officer come and find out or do whatever research he needed to do to find the guy later. But he would have still been alive. The officer shot that guy and he killed him. Now, that, that guy happened to be black. If the guy happened to be white, maybe the outcome would have been different. We don't know that. But, you know, I just... I just think that the police can handle things a little bit better at certain times. That's the only instance that I've seen in the media thus far that rectified a a decent shooting or a a shooting that was justified. Other than that, I I think that the police officers, they are trained to handle situations differently. And that's a nice truck over there lifted. I don't really like lifted trucks, but that's a big truck. That's a big ass truck. But back on topic, I think police officers are trained to handle things and for them to to automatically go to drawing their weapon when, I don't know if any of you guys out there have ever been tased or pepper sprayed, but I've seen the, the biggest men, including myself, I mean, I've been tased before, but I've seen some of the largest men, you know, 6'3", 6'4", 6'5", over 250 pounds, get tased and drop instantaneously, like, with no hesitation. I mean, so, I don't understand why the police officers can't use tasers as a first method of trying to stop the subject from doing whatever. Now, I understand that it's much easier to draw your weapon because that's what you're comfortable with as a police officer. But, you know, there are other means of disarming people and there are other means of securing the situation. I just think these police officers are going too far nowadays. And it's almost like a gang. It's like I view the police officers and the organization of cops as a large gang because I don't know if you guys have ever been in the situation, but one cop pulls up and you get a pretty okay guy and he's going over while you may be getting a ticket or whatever the case may be. And then another cop pulls up and he's just a complete dick for no reason, just trying to intimidate you and get in your head. And I mean... What's the point of the intimidation? You were already being cooperative and compliant with the other officer, so why does he need to come up and just start harassing you for no reason? It's another thing that I can't stand about police. So, if, if the police are, <laughs> they want me to do a wheelie. <laughs> I can't do a wheelie around a curve. Crazy as hell. But if any police are watching, you know, take this into consideration. It's, imagine if it were your kids' lives and you were in a place that you didn't know and your kids encountered police officers with your similar mentalities on how you treat people in the world. Instead of protecting us, you're out here harassing most of us. Black, white, Hispanic, whatever race. Take that into consideration. Stop ganging up on people. That's like... It's ridiculous, but that's just my views and my opinions on that. And I actually went a longer route for you guys so we could discuss this. Oh, boy. And here's a stop sign. It's 
so now I have to stop. Or do I? Oh man, but if you guys agree, click the thumbs up button. If you have any negative comments, please leave them so I can laugh and we can go back and forth. And I will talk shit back. Because that's what I do. Won't you tell everybody what the fuck you gotta say? Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. A young nigga got it back because I'm brown.